There is something terrifying going on at Chuck E. Cheese right now, and I'm gonna explain it to you. Five children are missing in Chuck E. Cheese, and they report of a smell. Yeah, like, the only person that smells is you. Hey, did five kids really go missing at Chuck E. Cheese? Or is this just some big, fat, fake news? Uh, this is, like, real fake news, like... This is too much of a quink and dink of Five Nights at Freddy's. Hey guys, this is uh, Rev and Devin, and welcome back to another video. So today I was looking at some uh, 3 a.m. challenges, and I encounter with this guy going to a Chuck E. Cheese at 3 a.m. And it's supposed to be the place where five children were missing. Which, honestly... No one really knows where the location is because it never really happened. And I wish I would go over the video, but the video is like very boring. I mean, take it for yourself. We're in the back now and there's tagging. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna make it today. We're not gonna make it. This is the other side of it, guys. I am freaked out right now. I do not want to be here. I do not want to be so once again this is the other side guys I wish we go inside I am so I've never been this as go 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 I don't want to be here anymore dude I'll go to the other side I mean when I watch this video I just feel like these guys like have like serious paranoia and they just forgot to take their meds so instead we're going to watch uh, a different video we're going to watch uh, this chick talk about uh, five kids went missing so, without further ado, let's get started. Here's today's daily shoutouts. Congratulations, guys! If you guys want a chance to win a shoutout on my next video- Honestly, this animation is so shit. I f hate it. Welcome to my new miniseries, The Chuck E. Cheese Conspiracies. Okay, why the f*** do you have to make conspiracy theories about Chuck E. Cheese? I mean, Chuck E. Cheese is just a restaurant, and they're closing- multiple restaurants because no one really goes there because you know COVID-19 tell me why Chuck E. Cheese is open how is Chuck E. Cheese an essential I mean how how you think Chuck E. Cheese is going to get money by opening up their business they don't have like any other source of income why are you freaking out about Chuck E. Cheese still being open during a pandemic how is Chuck E. Cheese an essential in this pandemic? How on earth? People are dying and Chuck E. Cheese is like, Oh, we gonna be open during this pandemic. I know their pizza gives you warts. I bet you can give me warts. People say that animatronics have been caught moving all by themselves. Yeah, because they're controlled. That's how, that's how they're designed to move somewhat themselves that's how animatronics are programmed the bottom of which i was trying to discuss in previous videos which you guys are actually commenting about a lot was the five kids that went missing at a chuck e cheese honestly this is like a huge pet peeve of mine but why is she like zooming in on her goddamn neck i mean it's not long as that guy's from gamestop I mean, if you want to zoom in your face, it's not that hard. Just tilt the camera up for more headroom. Like, if you guys never fucking heard of that before. So, guys, I am going to do something absolutely insane. I'm already really scared about this. But, drop a like on this video right now. And if this video gets to 10,000 likes, I will go to Chuck E. Cheese tonight at 12 a.m. in the morning. If this video gets, like, five likes... I will ask Belle Delphine to go Chuck E. Cheese with me, and also, I will be wearing a gas mask. Wish me luck, boys. Okay, so this guy here says Five Nights at Freddy's is real, and he's gonna prove it. Let's check it out. Five Nights at Freddy's is real, and I'm gonna prove it. Okay, honestly, I do not trust a man that looks like a grandma. I'm just speaking out straight facts. Sorry, guys. As we all know, Chuck E. Cheese is closing down after many years of being open. And there's two reasons to support my claim that Five Nights at Freddy's was actually based on Chuck E. Cheese. It's not based on Chuck E. Cheese. The reason why that Five Nights at Freddy's was created is because the creator got all triggered that one of his characters looks like an animatronic. So he's like, 
all right, let's make a horror game of it, because why not? A couple days ago, this was released all on Twitter. This is a Chuck E. Cheese instruction booklet, okay? I'm gonna read the whole thing right now. It is always important that all Chuck E. Cheese Night Shift employees wear a spare Chuck E. Cheese costume head to avoid any animatronics to use facial recognition, because if they spot any humans in the building after hours, they will automatically detect that the person is the criminal trying to take things from the building, and that won't lead to any good. And weirdly, in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you use a Freddy head to cover your face so they do not use facial recognition and try to kill you. That, okay, animatronics are not programmed to kill fucking people. I mean, it might sound the alarm, but it won't go around kill people. This is so fucking stupid. No, we don't recycle our pizza. But we do have a lot of rats. Ew. A lot of rats. Of course, someone has actually died in the Scarborough Chuck E. Cheese. Oh wow, someone died at a Chuck E. Cheese? Oh my god, Fine Nights at Freddy is real. Confirm. I, I, I'm done making this video. I quit. I quit YouTube forever. See you guys in the next four years. Nah, but joking aside, but there's a fuck ton of people that died in fast food restaurants. It's like, really? You're going to be surprised that someone died at a Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, someone died at a McDonald's. Yeah, someone died in a Chick-fil-A. Alright, I'm sick and tired of this fucking video. There's nothing really important. So, she got her 10,000 likes. And she actually went inside. Tonight, I am going to be going all the way to my local Chuck E. Cheese at 12 a.m. What's going on in there? That is so, so sketchy, guys. Oh my gosh, that's so, so creepy. But these right here are ghost rods. You can communicate with spirits. They just cross so fast. They literally touch, and I'm getting the chills right now. Oh shit, is she, is she going ghost adventures on us? Oh boy, I'm going to be scared, so scared that I won't be able to sleep. Because, you know, Ghost Adventures is, like, really real. Okay, so this guy right here said he just found out that FNAF is based off of real events from a Chuck E. Cheese in 1987. What? Five kids went missing in 1987 inside of one of the arcades and were never found. Apparently that was another thing that happened, and that was also five kids. And how many animatronics does Chuck E. Cheese have? Five! Okay. If we're going to go down with five kids went missing and there's stuff inside these animatronics, let's be real. You can't you can't fit a f child in an animatronic. Honestly, if you look up like Chuck E. Cheese animatronics, they don't even look that thick. And the thickies, those are like people in costumes. Most of these Chuck E. Cheese like animatronics are pretty thin, so you can't even stuff a a dead child in there. So why people still think that find out if Freddy's really happen. It, it it never did. So that's the concept art from Chuck E. Cheese's building. Take a look at this, guys. So that's the concept of, like, the structure of most Chuck E. Cheese's. And that's the concept of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Honestly, what the fuck is this video? I mean, you're making this video 15 minutes long. It shouldn't be that long. You got, you should have been just, like, cut that all that shit out and just be like, oh, here we go. We went to a uh, Chuck E. Cheese and just started from there. But no, you have to start, like, you reacting to sh stupid TikToks on your f phone. Alright, so I cut, like, a bunch of stupid, useless shit. Because, you know, I find most of this shit pretty boring. So, anyways, here they are at 12 a.m. Not 3 a.m., but 12 a.m. Of going to Chuck E. Cheese. But honestly, why 12 a.m.? Not Why not 3 a.m.? Like, that's... This is like YouTube 101. If you're going to do like a, a scary challenge, you got to do it at 3 a.m. Because 3 a.m. is the devil's hour. But of course, it's currently closed, so we're going to walk away and do some scary tests out here to see if there's any paranormal activity. Is it haunted? I don't think it is, but I literally would have lost my mind if those animatronics moved or if there's any creepy evidence of like, you know, just something off. I didn't see anything weird though, so that's actually kind of a good thing that Chuck E. Cheese wasn't as scary as I thought it would be at night. I think it's just more scary that I'm like walking alone in this random big dark parking lot outside of a Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I don't know. Am I brave? I don't know. Okay, we're- No, you're not brave. You're just dumb. Okay, so I know it's super dark and scary, but these right here are actually ghost rods. I like to just call them ghost rods, but they're rods. So you hold them down like this, and then you want to bring them up 
and hold them very still and if they cross each other that means yes and if they open super wide that means no i don't think ghost needs special technology or or white sounding or fucking metal rods to to communicate with humans uh, it's kind of like ghosts don't exist if there's any rat spirits in this area say yes or no please it's opening wide for no um do you like pizza Cross for yes, and open wide for no. They're crossing! They like pizza! Okay, this shit is kind of dumb. Honestly, I thought I thought I'd going to have like a really good video, but this, this isn't really happening. I'm going to cut the video. So, in short, what we know, the five missing kids and in Chuck E. Cheese, the rumors are false. There's, there's no real evidence. And anyone who says that, that there is, they just play too much Five Nights at Freddy's and likes watching Game Theory. You need to get in touch with fucking reality. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Rev and Devin, and I'll see you in the next video. Children missing in Turkey Cheese, I need a report of a smell.